So the Bolsheviks apparently were strong and cohesive, and the masses were very discontent just before World War One broke out. The cost of living was rising, the position of the workers was deteriorating, incredible poverty in the countryside because of awful agrarian policies, and there were clear haves and have-nots in agricultural sector with omnipotent omnipotent landlords, poverty, oppression, lack of human rights, indignities. And Lenin emphasized that this is in contradiction to how much the Russians could produce the forces of production and therefore made the case for revolution and basically said only a new revolution could save Russia. And they predicted it. The Bolsheviks predicted that it was inevitable. So everywhere there was discontent and disgust with the Tsar and the people. And the Bolsheviks put out these revolutionary slogans that were aimed at the workers. And these reflected a clear-cut expression of the workers' aspirations. So the Bolsheviks basically made a very clear platform that was right in keeping with exactly what the workers and the people in general stated that they wanted. So striking was a very big tool of the workers, and over a million strikers in 1912 gave workers kind of an offensive against the Tsar tool, weapon. Then the army started mutinying, and the Bolshevik party was the only program, the only group that had like a rock-solid program in this event. The Bolsheviks emphasized that revolution was the only way out and put forward slogans expressing the people's longings. A democratic republic, an eight-hour working day, confiscation of the land of the rich in favor of the poor. Then it, landlords and the capitalists started accusing each other of being unable to put out the flames of revolution.